All right, I know, I know, I know. Helldivers 2 news. It's been a little late, a little late, but we got some new news, and we got the new Helldivers 2 war bond and stuff like that, and some talks about that stuff that are kind of stupid, um, and just the new weapons and everything that I'm covering. Again, I'm a coming from a casual perspective, so this is not me just deep diving into everything, but I do keep up with some of the news so that I'm not falling too far behind, and I really found some interesting things, and upon my gameplay, of Hell Divers 2. So leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new. We're gonna learn some more Hell Divers 2 content. But first of all, I just want to highlight some of my likes about the the last New Balance patch and stuff like that. Cause I heard it, it got it got some people mad about some of the, their their favorite weapons and stuff like that. But I just want to highlight that the flamethrower is so great for bugs now, and I appreciate them really really balancing this out for me. Um, first time I used it, I liked trying to use it, but it just didn't really work for the bugs and the eggs. But it works so so good now, and I just appreciate them for that. The Liberator is my new prime right now as a casual player because I'm not completed with the war bonds and stuff like that. Which again, I want to get into how those things work and how good that they work and how they're not paid to win. That's what I wanted to address the discrepancy on. But yeah, the Liberator is kind of my new favorite one right now. If you're looking as a casual player and you haven't really got one, and this is one of the one weapons that you have. I think you can go with this one and the break your shotgun is really good. I also love the weather changes and the fire tornadoes and the ion storms and all that good stuff, man. That stuff is great. I have not got a chance to get some gameplay footage of the fire tornadoes, but I did get a chance to get in one. I just didn't record, but I got the ion storms and stuff like that. I just enjoy the environmental factors that they added uh, in the game. Just, just like just, they're really just building a, a, a world in front of our eyes. It's like they're developing the world in front of our eyes, but making it fun at the same time time now getting on into some of the new weapons that they got into the game they got the guns like the las uh i forgot the full name for that one but i, I believe it's like i think that's it what is it? what kind of gun is that it's like this laser or something like that i think so you gotta, you gotta correct me from where again i it's hard to remember uh, all these guns we got the g23 stun uh the sg8 p punisher plasma the las s7 dagger pistol and the arc 12 Blitzer. These are the new weapons I've seen. Gameplay for all of these. I just have not played with them, unfortunately. So I can't really give like, a proper assessment. But I am more interested in the, in the LAS uh, pistol. Because I, I want more secondaries. And I actually do appreciate them uh, adding more. And it seems like it's a good gun. So I just want to check it out. So, uh, as far as like some of the no like splash of life things for me, the game feels a lot smoother. I think in the beginning it did feel a little bit stiff. I don't know. Maybe I, I'm not really being clear on that one, but it, it feels a lot better. It feels like the game has like kind of settled, if that makes sense. We've kind of settled in and we've like, you know, every time I hop on now, it doesn't feel like a hassle. Uh, just getting, you know, it just feels really cool. It just feels fun to just casually play. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Uh, mech suits uh, cost a fortune, unfortunately, but they are in the game, and I've seen them in gameplay and seen my friends use them, and if I, if I may say so myself, have saved my life plenty of times. But um, they are really a great addition to the game and show that they are not trying to just throw enemies at us, and they're trying to help us actually fight back because they show that they are on our side. They are just trying to, you know, manage the game to make it fun for everybody else and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, as far as that, uh, the new major order, um, just wanted to tag that along with that. The new major order should be out, what, tomorrow, I believe, to this Sunday. Tomorrow should be the major order or whatever. If not, if it's not already out, it should be out now, whatever, stuff like that. I think the last one we did, um, achieve our goal. Again, if you're a casual player and you miss out on these, don't worry. You do get medals for them, so you get to kind of rack them up. But I think you do, uh, lose out on some things when you do not take part in some of these major orders so make sure you do try to hop on with some of these i have not been doing my part i am ashamed all right so now we get into one of the main topics is the war bonds uh is it pay to win is war bonds pay to win uh no the clear answer is clearly no um the war bonds are not pay to win the war bonds are, are in the designed in a way that you can access them at any point keep this in mind uh hell divers 2 war bonds and, and if you want to just put it simply battle passes you can literally access the ones that are before like i'm literally still completing the first war bond that dropped at the game 
and, and that's that's exciting for a casual player like me because that means I don't have to stress myself trying to finish a battle pass that you know I may not be have time for and miss out on some of the rewards. So I'm still unlocking things from the first one. I'm still getting things. So the battle pass works in that way, and the premium rewards or war bonds um you can literally find those rewards and farm those in game granted it's a grind but anything worth having is worth grinding for so i think that's where people are saying it's pay to win because they choosing not to grind and they want to just get the super credits and just you know buy them which again as a casual player like me i have super credits already loaded up so i can actually buy some of the stuff that i may not have had it before but again it's it's designed in a way that we can still access these things even afterwards and you can still farm for these things outside of just paying for it with your money so it's it's not pay to win literally at all it's it's literally designed so that everybody gets a taste you just somebody have to work harder than others and that's just life as far as the new additions to the game, we have the TCS Towers. Uh, these are aimed to quarantine the bugs. I heard that there's a just like uh, uh, something going on with them, though, like a little bit of lore happening where they're actually making more bugs. So uh, I don't know what's quite going on with that. And, you know, it's, it's causing, you know, a big thing. There's actually less... I think not say less there's less of a certain type of bug i forget the name but there's more smaller bugs running around and all that good stuff so again make sure you keep your eye out there when you're in the field and all that good stuff that is all i have today for the hell divers 2 weekly news and stuff like that i know there was i know there was so much more but again i play a lot of different things and do a lot of different things outside of this kind of missed out on a lot of uh, other things that i probably should have mentioned so i will be doing my best this week to make sure i keep up to date on those things um more often and uh, i appreciate you guys for listening to me update you guys on this week's news on democracy leave like a video subscribe if you're new link out some more hell divers 2 content peace